Hey, Matt Morris, lead with Matt.com. Appreciate you guys tuning in. As you hop on, let me know where you're tuning in from. Give me your city, country. If you're watching this live, drop me a live in the comments. If you're watching this on the replay, drop me a replay. And if you're seeing me for the first time, drop me a one in the comments so we can welcome you. And if you share this, let me know you shared it so we can give you a shout out. So let's talk about fear. And I will tell you, I have had a hell of a turnaround from five years of struggling always spending more than I was making as an entrepreneur to eventually being able to earn millions of dollars, travel around the world, have, you know, real lifestyle freedom. And, you know, definitely hasn't always been this way. I mean, the first five years, I can't tell you how incredibly frustrating it was feeling like I was banging my head against a wall over and over and over and wondering what was wrong with me because I'm watching other people pass me up and I'm still where I am. And so loads of self-doubt, loads of beating myself up. Maybe you can relate to this. And not having the confidence to make the calls, do the things that I knew I needed to do. And I would do ridiculous things. To, oh, I would sit on social media. I would bury myself in a bottle of vodka because it was easier to drink and numb out than it was to actually do the thing that I was afraid of. And so we distract ourselves. And, you know, thank goodness for loads of personal development because eventually I was able to start doing the things that I was afraid of. And it was not an overnight process. Everyone always asked me, what was the one thing? What's the one thing? And I wish I could tell you there was one thing, but it was all of the things. It was learning as much as I could learn. I was actually on the phone with a young guy uh, earlier and inspiring to hear his story. Hasn't made any money in the marketing world, but has gone through every training known to man. <laughs> not everyone, but you get the idea spending you know hours and hours and hours every day soaking it in getting the knowledge so that eventually he can have the success and that's you know how I was I was just seeking out the information I was reading a book about every two or three days because I knew if I needed to turn change my circumstances I had to change me first and the contrast is incredible Making money is great. Time freedom is great. The biggest blessing is being proud of the person you've become. Being comfortable in your own skin. Looking in the mirror and loving the person who looks back at you. Being able to go into a room and feel like you can own the room or walk on stage and own the stage. And it's that feeling of power that, and I'm not talking about power as far as controlling another person. I'm talking about personal power. And you see... Over the last 24 years, having built teams that have grown to over a million customers, $50 million, over $50 million earners on the team, there's one thing that the million dollar earners, and you know, there's been hundreds of six, the multiple six figure earners. So what is the thing that they've done or that they have going for them that the people who fail do not? Because there's been for every $100,000 earner, there's been hundreds of failures, people who made no money at all and quit. So what is it that the people who have had success, what do they have? Is it more charisma? No. Is it a greater sales ability? No. Is it they're better with people? No. Is it they come from a better family? No. Is it that they're educated? No. Here's the only thing. The people who have made it simply have this. They have the fucking courage to do the thing that they're afraid of. The people who fail, and I've seen thousands fail, the thing that they're unwilling to do is the thing that they're afraid of, and that's why they don't win. If you want to boil it down to the brass tacks. So what happens when you don't do the thing that you're afraid of? Well, obviously you fail, but more important or more significant than that, there's a little part of you that dies inside every time, every day that goes by, that you're not doing the thing that you know you need to do because 
you're paralyzed by fear, a little part of you dies. You become a little less confident every day that goes by that you don't do the thing that you know you need to do. Maybe you're like me. Every day that would go by, I'd beat myself up a little bit more. And finally, I had to decide enough is enough. So my question to you is, when is enough going to be enough? And I am very, I would say, aggressive, driven. I want to win. If you challenge me, I want to rise to the challenge. Some people are more cause-driven, cause-oriented. See, for me, it was watching other people pass me by. And if I look at the thousands that have not succeeded compared to the ones who have, the ones who have not succeeded, many of them were way more talented than those who won. Many of them way more talented. If you were to look at them and compare character traits and background and credibility and all of that, you would say the person who failed should have been the one that won. Why didn't they win? Because they refused to do the thing that they were afraid of. So you got to figure out how do you get leverage on yourself? I'll tell you one of the things that allowed me to get leverage on myself was getting pissed off enough, seeing so many other people pass me up that didn't have anything more going for them than I had going for me. And so is that internal competition. So you got to decide when are you going to step up? Now, if you're not driven like that, like for, towards competition, maybe you're driven to helping other people. And if that's the case, let me ask you this. How many people's lives are the exact same today because you refuse to step up and do the thing that you know you need to do? See, in our profession, in network marketing, when we go out and we do the things that we know we need to do, the things that we're afraid of, we're able to impact lives in a positive way. So on my team, I've had 5,500, last I checked, 5,500 achieve a rank that is an average of a couple thousand dollars a month. That's a lot of people earning a pretty significant income, okay? So had I not decided to do the thing that I was afraid of, that would be over 5,000 people's lives who are not impacted in a positive way. So I don't know if you understand the impact that you can truly have from you telling a person who tells a person who tells a person who tells a person that duplication effect, that exponential growth that can kick in, you, yes, you have the ability to impact thousands and thousands of lives. And by you staying in helplessness, holding on to your fears, refusing to step out of your comfort zone, allowing your fears to be more important than other people's lives, guess what? You make no impact. At the end of your life, when you're done, you'll be buried, you'll have a gravestone, and you'll be soon forgotten. I remember going back to my uh, sixth great-grandfather, oldest known ancestor, and I found his grave. It was in East Texas. And so I went to the cemetery and I sat there and I don't know why I went. I don't know what I was wanting to get out of going to see the grave. Just thought it would be unique. And as I'm sitting there looking at Thomas Bannister Morris, I thought, this is my oldest known ancestor. And no one ever mentioned his name, ever. I had to find him through Ancestry.com. No one ever said his name. Why? Because he lived, he died, and he was soon forgotten. And most people will live, they'll die, and they'll be soon forgotten. So I've got a calling to be immortal. To leave a legacy, to leave an impact that outlives me. And the only reason why that's possible is because I had to step out of my comfort zone and do the things that I was afraid of. And I had to call other people to step out of their comfort zone, just like I'm calling you out right now to step out of your comfort zone, not so that, so that you can go get rich, but so that you can make an impact, so that you can leave a legacy. Life is short amazingly short. I mean, the earth has been here tens of millions of years 
you're gonna be here for 80, 90, 100 years if you're lucky. It's a blip, just a little blip, it's a blink. Our life is a blink. Don't let your life be all that there is. You can live and your legacy can live on if you're willing to do the thing that you're afraid to do. So listen, I hope this impacted you. If you get something out of this, let me know in the comments below. If you feel like this can impact some others, share it. Let me know that you shared it. And feel free to hop over to leadwithmat.com if you want some advanced strategies on leadership. And look at this fish. Can you guys see this? If you know what kind of fish that is, let me know in the comments. <laughs> anyway, appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm going to go jump in the pool with the kiddos. Love you. Have a great night.